It's a simple three-digit number, but for tens of thousands of Coloradans every year, 988 is a lifeline. We do get calls where we are literally the only thing between them and ending their life, and we are always there to talk with people. But Eric Jacobson might not be answering those calls for long, as the state prepares to accept a bid from an out-of-state company called Solari Crisis to run 988. What does it say to Colorado that you're going to lay off 330 people that work in a nonprofit sector and then outsource millions of dollars of taxpayer money to another state? I don't think that sends the right message. Mental health is not a place where we should be cutting corners. A state spokesperson says Soleri received the highest score in an objective evaluation process. But Eric is concerned out-of-state crisis workers won't be able to provide the same level of care as people who work here for Rocky Mountain Crisis Partners. We are Colorado. And we have the connections and the trust of the community and the idea that that will be lost and potentially outsourced to someone else who doesn't have those relationships. I think that that is uh, vastly overlooking an essential part of this service, which is trust in the community. Eric says his team fields roughly 35,000 calls a month, an all time high, and says they plan to fight the state's decision. A state spokesperson says no final decision has been made and will not be made until the protest has been resolved. Now, we did reach out to Solari Crisis. That's the Arizona company that submitted the winning bid. So far, no response from them. Meanwhile, Rocky Mountain Crisis Partners will remain in charge of that 988 line through the end of June. Jordan. Oh, all right, Evan, thank you. Well,